Hello, David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. We have a sneak preview of the opening night, the opening public night of Secret Cinema. Well, you know we've been hinting about this for a long time, but we had our own Blair Ballard, our international correspondent, go there for the opening night with a few other friends and experience Secret Cinema firsthand. Before we have, that's for sure, and Blair talks about some of the details pre and post. We've left a lot of spoilers unrevealed because, well, we want you to go to this. But the other thing is there are a few subtle spoilers. So if you want to go into Secret Cinema Fresh, stop the vlog right now. This is my first and final warning. If you want a few spoilers, a few hints to what it's going to be, then keep watching and Blair's going to fill you in we, meaning me and Danielle, are going to have our own experience with Secret Cinema at the end of June. We can't wait, but we hope we satiate, we hope this satiates you in the meantime. And now I'm going to give it to Blair Ballard. Hi there guys, welcome to, well, welcome to my house. Blair Ballard here for the Bond Experience. I'm getting myself all set for the Bond Experience of the year. Yes, Secret Cinema have turned their sights on our favorite Bond film of the moment, Casino Royale. What's the Secret Cinema I hear you cry? Well, if you don't know, basically it's a cinematic immersive experience. Uh, Fabien Rigel, who was the founder and creative director of Secret Cinema, when he was a kid, he thought, what would it be like to actually live inside a film? And so 12 years ago, he set up Secret Cinema. Since then, they've had over 46 productions they've been involved with, including Blade Runner, 28 Days Later, Star Wars and the Empire Strikes Back, Casablanca, Moulin Rouge. The idea is that a filmmaker would take a, um, a book or a plot and make a film out of it. What Secret Cinema will do is they take the film and they transform it into a kind of theatrical experience which you can get fully immersed in. So instead of just sitting there and watching a film, you actually become a part of the story itself. Uh, and your reality blurs with the film's plot as you go. It's absolutely incredible. This time round, they really pushed the boat out, and that's an understatement. The Eon are giving it its full backing, so we know that the production values are going to be sky high. Secret Cinema have also, intriguingly, brought on two uh, members of the creative team at the Royal Shakespeare Company, so we know that all the actors and the sets are all going to look amazing. Martin Campbell apparently has had his hand in as well. So what's it meant for me personally? Well, once I got my ticket, um, I was given certain instructions by email and text. I was given secret code words to enter into websites. I was given videos to watch, to look out for signs that somebody's telling me lies. I was also taught how to play cards. And I've been told to wear certain clothes for the, the, this night's uh, experience. So I'm no longer Blair Ballard of the Bond experience. I've got to go in character. I am now Jax Bastian, tech entrepreneur. To show you the complete um, an analness of their, of their production values, I've had to produce business cards with my character's name on. I've got to have a whole back history as well, a backstory that I've got to stick to during the night if I get questioned by different members of the team in character. It's absolutely incredible. Now, earlier on, I tried, um, I opened up a box of tricks that I had to buy, which gives me extra bits and pieces for my costume. This is what happened. Well, this is it. This is the mission kit that you can actually buy separately uh, through the Universal Exports uh, web page. It gives you a few um, extra bits and pieces to complement your, your wardrobe that you're going to wear on the night when you're in character. Um, let's have a quick look. I haven't actually been inside this yet, but I know roughly what's inside, but let's have a look. So it comes in a rather natty little box here. Okay, cool. You've got a Universal... Oh, that's clever. Look, it's a kind of a... 
almost like a hologram. You get two different universal exports, control. I'm one of the control members. I wear yellow. Now, I don't really carry a yellow very often in my wardrobe. So I bought this kit because it gives me a pocket scarf that I can wear in my tux to show that I'm a member of the Embranch control faction. Um, I'm sort of one to delegate and to help and motivate the troops. Oh, this is nice. All oh, right, cool. I've got a money clip here, which keeps all my winnings uh, nice and safe when I'm in, in the casino. Now, these Casino Royale cards here are used in the game. Apparently, I will p I'd be part of a, um, a poker game at Casino Royale on the night. And I've got three cards here. Shall I show them, to, show them to you? Here we go. So I've got an ace, king, and jack here to play. Very nice Casino Royale branded cards as well. That's very nice. Um, oh, a little handy, handy card to tell me which, which hands to play. Um, I've got also... Oh, this is a little pin here. This is a lapel pin. Again, showing the yellow and gold to designate that I'm a control member. So I've got to look out for someone on the night who's carrying a yellow bunch of flowers, and that's going to be my contact. It's all very exciting, but that's that's very important for me. And this is a nice poker chip I can actually use, a lucky token I can use, and also to keep my 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 winnings uh, on uh, on the on the night as well. So all in all, it's very nicely presented. The quality is good. This cost me about twenty five pounds, I think. Um, so you're paying slightly over the odds, but it's a, a fun thing to take home with you afterwards. Um, um, to keep us a little memento of the evening. So here we are, all the bits and pieces have been put together. I am now in character and in costume. I'm no longer Blair Ballard of the Bond Experience. I'm now Jax Bastian, tech entrepreneur, recently seconded by British intelligence to infiltrate the terrorist sponsors operating out of Casino Royale and Montenegro. I'm going deep undercover. Wish me luck. I'm going in. As international banks are withholding funds over fears the money could be financing terrorism. Prices in the United States went up at an annual rate of 13%. A fake democratic process. You know, we all just want to make more money, okay? Now, what a bank has for sale is information. So this is it. We're going in. Super excited. It's a massive venue. Look at the size of that place. On several floors. We don't know what's inside. We're going to go to Miami. We're going to go to Montenegro, obviously. Are we going to go to Venice? Are we going to be going to Madagascar? Anyway, we'll wait and see. We're going to go inside now. I'll give you my feedback on the way out. Anyway, super excited. Going in. Just spotted my contact. Yellow, gold flowers. Got to get say hi. Come on, let's go. Operation Wildcard's about to commence. We're going in now. We've got to hand our phones in. So this is it. See you later on, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's immaculate. Absolutely immaculate. For a non-spoiler approach, I would say if you like film, it's absolutely essential. You must come see this. If you're a Bond fan, beg, borrow, steal, cajole, sell non-essential organs. In fact, sell semi-essential organs. It's just 
absolutely amazing. Okay, now please stop the video now if you don't want any spoilers. I'm gonna be five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, semi spoilers. Not the whole thing because I know there are loads of you out there who actually really want the whole experience, but semi mini mini spoilers. You have two whole hours before the film starts where you actually are in your own adventure. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, you have to meet people, you have to get information out of people. I spoke, for goodness sake, I spoke Russian, um, Greek and French just to get people on my side to feed me information for the next target and the next thing to find out to pass on to Q branch for goodness sake it's insane the sets are incredible I know that it's not gonna be too much of a spoiler to know that what Secret Cinema do they are gonna put you in the places you think you're gonna go so you are gonna be in Miami you are gonna be in Madagascar you are gonna be um, in in, in, um, in Casino Royale, obviously. You are going to be Montenegro. You are going to be all these places. And they are realised. They are properly realised. Miami, it's amazing. There are places we discovered on the way out we didn't see. It's just huge, huge venue. Absolutely incredible. And the, the actors they got involved are so in character. We, I was in character the whole time and we had to be in character and people were asking us for our business cards and we were asking for our, the information we knew and what we could find out. When one one of the girls came up to me and let me find out, well, let me find out. She she was saying, okay, you, you've progressed this far. You know the score, okay? Let me find out. When I showed her, she said, okay, you guys know what's going on now. And I showed her my my ring and I said look I'm involved I know what's going on she gave me more information she goes okay cool you're inside you know what's going on and bing 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 she gave me more stuff it's insane and this is before the films even started it's just incredible if you want to sit at the, the play poker at, um, with Dimitrios who's in character they've got the most amazing actors the lookalikes are brilliant and but they act and they're brilliant you can be standing next to the bar and Solange is there next to you You've got to flirt with her to get some information. It's just incredible. I mean, I've, if you've been to Secret Cinema before, you will have your expectations surpassed. If you've never been to Secret Cinema, which I hadn't, it's um, every new one that comes out, I'm there. I'm so there. It's absolutely, in, insanely intense. And then the film comes on, and I'm not going to give you any spoilers because it's just incredible. But please, please, pretty please, with sugar on top. If you're a fan of Bond, you must try and get a ticket. You must, as I said, beg, borrow, steal, cajole, sell organs, do whatever you can. It's just incredible. Look, oh, we've got an Aston as well. Anyway, this has been Blair Banner for the Bond experience at Casino Royale in Montenegro, bidding you a very, very Bondian experience. This is the Bond experience in the flesh. But Blair Ballard bidding you a Bond farewell. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you just because we know you. Talk to you soon.